Hey, what's going on? It's Johnny Grooms, and today's another dad tip day. I'm not gonna make anything, but I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I use to clean my kids' water bottles on the inside. See, no matter how much I scrub and use soap and water and all of that, um, after a day or two, they're still build up in there. I guess because the environment inside the bottles, you know, they when water's in there, like bacteria and mold shit grows in there. So I'm constantly checking these. We have a bunch of them, so I round robin them a lot. I boil them a lot. Um, but, and also I have like little tiny wire brushes that get in there. But I just took the cap off of one of them and I just noticed, see in there is kind of scuzzy. See that? So I do a little trick to clear all bacteria that's in there. Anything alive in there is going to die. Um, and then I rinse with hot water to clear it out. So real simple. Grab yourself some hydrogen peroxide. Pour a little bit in there. See, see that bubbling happening right there? That's all the bacteria getting killed by the peroxide. So I just let that sit until it stops fizzing up. And then I rinse it clean with hot water. And then I wash it again with some soap and water. And I try to get into the little crevices as much as possible. Nothing really gets in there like liquids do. So putting some peroxide in there to killing any live bacteria in there is just better overall for health. I know some people will say, oh, you're over sanitizing. The kid's not building immunities. Well, if you knowingly had mold in your cup and it was gross like that, would you drink it as an adult? Yeah, I didn't think so. I wouldn't either. So other uses for peroxide in your bathtub when you have mold, instead of using some bleach, throw some peroxide in there and just listen to all the fizzing and the hissing that's killing all you know bacteria and mold that's in your tub that you didn't even know you have. Sometimes that your tub is white or your grout is white and you put some peroxide in there and you hear the fizzing because there's mold in there that is not quite turned into color yet. Usually it goes white, then pink, and then if you leave it long enough, it goes dark. So if you get it early enough, you won't have that buildup. Also, um, in your kitchen sink, your regular sponge here that you think is also clean, is definitely not clean. And when you're finished using your sponge, you should heavily rinse it out with hot soapy water to get all all bacteria off of it because you're just making more bacteria on your, you're just spreading more bacteria onto your dishes. Um, that's why dishwashers are great because they sanitize your dishes. But just to show you, this sponge is on its way out. I'm gonna toss it. Okay, so here's my sponge. And I'm going to wring it out for you guys, just to show you. Don't mind my kitchen, I'm cleaning. So any soap that's in there is coming off. Okay. Sponge. See how that fizzed up? And that's it for today. That's it for the dad tips for today. There you go. No harsh chemicals, hydrogen peroxide. Safer for you and your family. <laughs> Remember to take care of yourself and each other. Later.